Hello and good day once again. In the last video, I've shown you a program that will do repetition in the IAS. In fact, we have converted our analytical engine program, which uh, computes the end factorial, into the language of the IAS. We had a little difficulty there because the condition for uh, continuation of a loop in the IAS is a jump plus. And it has no direct equivalent from the IA analytical engine. In the analytical engine, we have a CB combinational card, which will only perform uh, continuation if the value in the egress axis is negative. So the CB is like a jump minus, and there's no jump minus in the IAS. That's why we have performed a trick by sparing a line right after the jump plus in order to store to bring us back to the beginning of the loop or to the tail of the loop and the jump plus is used to skip this line towards termination supposedly we said you should have a condition condition for continuation in a bottom-up loop but since we do not have a continuation continuation condition we are using a condi condition for termination in order to bring us back to the top of the loop and this is complicated and longer because we are wasting a line in order to bring us back to the top of the loop. Another version is a top-down version. And this is more appropriate in the case of the IAS in the sense that it doesn't have a jump minus. So in this case, we are going to use a jump plus in order to execute a condition for termination, not a condition for continuation. So this is called a top-down approach because the condition is at the top and it's a condition for termination which means that if the condition is true it will bring us to the tail of the loop to terminate unlike in the previous version we have a condition for the continuation where if the condition is true it it will bring us back to the top from the from the bottom in order to repeat so a condition for continu continuation will repeat a condition for termination will terminate or will stop so let let us trace this right away this is the same factorial program where M1 is used to store the first multiplier and M2 is used to store the next partial product. And M3 is the, uh, the, the, the a, a temporary variable. So the first command is load negative of M1, which is present in the IAS. This is not in the analytical engine. It will convert M1 to negative for loading it to the accumulator. So the, accumulators be the accumulator becomes negative 4. Add M2. M2 is 1, so this becomes negative 3. And store M3. M3 becomes negative 3. So take note that we have a jump plus. Since the accumulator is negative, we will not jump. Instead, we'll just move on normally into the next line, where we have a load absolute of M3. Absolute will convert it into positive. So we have the accumulator is 3. And mul M1, M1 is 4, so this becomes, the accumulator becomes 12. And store M1, so that is, which stores our next multiply, uh, partial product, or also multiply. We store this to M1. And then we load M3, which is negative 3. And we add M2. M2 is always 1, so this will become negative 2. And then the next is a jump to 5 to L without any condition. Take note that there's no, no condition to consider. We just have to repeat. And the condition will be at the top. So we'll have to have, we need to have a second pass at five. Let's copy this. This is now our second pass. So our previous values are the accumulator being negative two. M1 being 12, M3 being negative 3. You just have to erase the trace because it doesn't belong to pass number 2. Okay, second pass. The first is store M3. The accumulator, which is negative 2, is stored to M3. Jump plus. So this is where the condition uh, is encountered now. It will not do a jump plus because the value is negative 2. So we'll proceed normally to the next. Load negative of M3. Rather, absolute of M3, which is 2. Mul M1, so this becomes 24. And we store M1 as our next partial product. 
this is 24 and, th and then we load m3 so m3 is negative 2 we add m2 which is always 1 so this becomes negative 1 okay and then we jump 5 0 to 19 or 5 l again we have we have no cons uh, condition to consider we will just have to jump the condition in a way is on the top which is a condi condition for termination we will erase this and we will record our previous values our current accumulator is uh, negative one and our m1 is 24 and m2 is always one and m3 is negative two so let's repeat the first command is store m3 so m3 becomes negative one and we jump 9l now it's negative one the accumulator is negative one we will not jump we just load the absolute of m3 which is now one positive one mul m1 so this becomes 24 and we store it to m3 so this becomes 24 and then we load m3 m3 is negative one and then add m2 so this becomes zero and then we pass the third time because there's no other condition excuse me this is now pass number three pass number three so uh, during which our accumulator was a zero our m1 which is our partial product is 24 we have this as one and uh, our previous m3 is negative one the first command is store m3 this becomes zero and then we have jump plus 9 to 19 zero is considered positive okay so therefore we are going to jump 9l okay we are going to jump to 9l where, where we load m1 24 and then we hold here so our final answer is 24 so which brings us to the uh, the last command of our program so i hope you distinguish between the bottom up ver version of a loop and the top down version of a loop this is illustrates that you can still do proper programming even if certain uh, instructions even for those used in conditions and repetitions are missing you just have to change the logic in the words of alan turing all computers are equivalent you can program them in any way you like and function the same way thanks for watching and bye for now